Jeremy Renner, 52, is set to appear in a tell-all interview with Diane Sawyer on April 6 in his first televised appearance since the near-fatal accident on New Year's Day, which left him with more than 30 broken bones. On Wednesday, Good Morning America teased a snippet of the interview, showing the emotional Avengers star sitting in a wheelchair. Jeremy revealed the dire extent of his condition when he first got to hospital as he took the initiative to write out a goodbye note to his family when he couldn't speak. I'm writing down notes in my phone, my last words to my family, was all he could say before being overwhelmed by emotion. The actor's accident attracted global attention on New Year's Day as he was airlifted to hospital after being run over by his 6,350 kg snowplow and crushed. He had been using the plow to pull his nephew's truck out of the hefty snowfall around his Lake Tahoe home following a blizzard during December. However, the plow began sliding towards Jeremy's adult nephew and the Hawkeye actor attempted to stop it. Speaking to Diane, Jeremy admitted, If I was there on my own, it would have been a horrible way to die. And surely I would have, surely. But I wasn't alone, there was my nephew, sweet Alex, and the rest of the cavalry came. Don't miss. Stacey Solomon praised for showing beautiful normal body in bikini, pictures, mom of 22 Sue Radford gives family update after daughter's claim, insight, Tom Daly and husband Dustin announced the birth of their second child, latest, Jeremy sustained severe injuries in the accident, including blunt chest trauma and multiple broken bones, before being forced to spend his 52nd birthday in hospital, but is now making a steady recovery back home. In another snippet from the interview, the actor revealed he was awake throughout the gruesome experience, and felt all of it but would do it all again to save his beloved nephew. The interview also features some candid revelations from Alex, Jeremy's nephew, who admitted that after the crash, he ran up to Jeremy and didn't think he was alive as he saw the pool of blood coming from his head. Now take